Hi everyone, Julian here. Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to make a full hard groove techno track, the full arrangement as well as all elements. To go along this video, you can get this fully arranged track template. It's literally a full six minute track arranged in Ableton. Link is at the top of the description on my website. Definitely go grab that while it's available. It's a really great deal for an amazing, extremely accessible price. You get a really high quality template that'll really get you going. You can make your own hard groove track from scratch today using this template. Link is at the top of the description. Thanks for the support, everybody. It really helps but it's also about creating something so we can all grow as a community we can all take these templates and make the best tracks of our lives if you want to support that mission link is at the top of the description thanks for the support everybody and let's dive in all right so we're at 144 bpm first thing we got is a little side chain just the kick shortened and then we have the main kick all right so this kick is made up of four layers so we have our kick so this is just the punch of the kick, no processing. This is from my Ultimate Hard Techno drum library. Then we have this click layer on top, so it goes from this to this. Right, so all we're doing here is it's that same kick sample. It works best if you use the same sample because you're not going to have phasing issues or anything. We're high passing it, distorting that, and then high passing it again. Then we have our bass line. So it's kind of like two different layers. We have our main one, which is this operator. It's like a sub bass. Basically what it's doing is we're in the key of F sharp minor. So we're going F sharp up to A and then E back to F sharp. So if you're looking at this as F sharp minor, it's root note, minor third, minor seventh, and then another back to the root note. Right, and then what's happening is, so we've got an arpeggiator here, so without that. It's really subtle, but it just gives it like a da -da 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 -da, like those 16th notes that I think really help. For the sound, it's literally just a saw wave, but it's being low pass. Right, and then what we're doing is we've got the voices set to one, so it's monophonic, and then we have the glide set, so that's how you get those gliding notes. It's being sidechained, and then low pass a little bit more, but then that's going against a rumble. So this is like a pretty subtle rumble. What it is, is it's the same kick you saw before. With an arpeggiator on it, right, doing 16th notes, then we're low passing it pretty deep. Reverb, amp, side chain, and then another low pass at the end. And we just had that set up to work really well against the bass. Like they kind of fit together and create that one group. And then you can have this part at the end of the track where it's just the rumble. But it's all about dialing those in together so that they're not going to clash. So then on the whole group, we just have a little bit of saturation. It's on medium curve, so here's without it. With it. Right, it's just gluing that whole kick together, giving it a little bit of saturation without pushing it too hard since it's only at 7% wet. We have a little bit of a sub cut, cutting out those real low frequencies that you wouldn't even really hear. We have a high pass, which comes in in a few parts. You can see throughout the arrangement to make this kind of disappear, right? And then we're just converting it to mono at the end. So then from there, we have our like main drums. You know, there's a lot of percussion and a lot of groove in these hard groove tracks, but you really got to start with just... Like if this doesn't all work, then it's not going to work. So what we're doing here is we've got these two hi-hats layered. Right, this one's got a little bit of reverb, and then we have this clap. And again, that all grooves really well just against the kick. With very minimal processing required. And then once you have that, that's when you can start actually doing these percussion moves. Right, like you see all that percussion. It's dope, but it needs something to sit on. So you have to get these right first. 
But then we move down to the percussion loops. Now, these are obviously the start of the show with a track like this. You know, if you look, there's basically, it's kind of like we have ones that are going all the way through that are like the main groove, you know, like stuff like this. They're just steadily all the way through, but then we can also have a lot of stuff come in and out, right? Like, you know, like this 909 hi-hat. So we have this. See, and then that comes in at bar 49, and that's what's kind of keeping this exciting, is the way things are coming in, and also the way they're coming out. Like, this little rave loop here, where it plays, you know, through this beginning. Right? Like at the end of every two bars like that, but then it stops. And you're not even getting that at all in this middle part. So then when it comes back here, you can really tell. And it also, like I said, that's how you're going to basically keep this arrangement moving for six minutes. Is It's these different loops. And again, you're going to pick the ones that need to be like all the way through, you know. And then pick a few that can kind of come in and out. Same thing with like this. This adds a lot of rhythm. Like you can really hear when we turn it off, but then when you go over here, you're not even noticing because it only came in for the end there. You know, and same thing with like, you know, we got like this little drum rack here. You know, that's disappearing in some parts. That disappears when this comes. Right here, we just got this bongo. I'm distorting it and high-passing it and side-chaining it. But I'm also using beat repeat. It's adding the 16th notes, and it actually gave it, like, a nice groove that worked better with the track. As far as the actual theory of putting all this percussion together, I think, obviously, you want a lot, as you can tell. Like, it is really a lot of loops happening at once because there's so little happening elsewhere in the track. But you just want it to feel really full. Because, like, there really isn't that much else happening besides the percussion, you know? So this stuff really is the lead. And then on the whole group, we have a little bit of saturation. So here's without it. With it. Really subtle. It just crunches everything up a little bit more and glues it together. We have a delay on eighth notes, which is being automated. I'm just doing some of these breaks to make this disappear. And then a high pass, so it's not going to get in the way of the kick or anything. And then we have... Yeah, so then we have this, then we have the vocal loop. Now, these are the kind of vocal loops you hear a lot in these tracks. You can do this with almost any type of vocal. It could be spoken word, it could be sung, it could be like a lot of different things that you use for this. So I'll show you mine, what I'm doing here. We're using these two vocals. Right, it's just those two little chunks. That's the... Right, and then this is the... And see, so you get them both fitting together, and then fitting together with what's happening in this whole track. Now, I don't have any processing on them individually, but we're processing them as a group. So, what's happening here is it's a little bit of... So, I'll just turn everything off and show you what we're starting with. So it starts like this. Then we got this overdrive, which obviously makes it, you know, a bit more textured, a bit more mid-range focused. And then we have this delay. Like an eighth note delay, and you can hear that actually adds a lot of groove to this. 
and we have a little bit of reverb and also that reverb is being automated like Like that, also in these breaks here. Right, so we got that, then it's being side chained. High pass, and then we have a low pass filter which brings it in in the breaks as well. That makes it disappear there. And then the last element here is this little break beat. We have two different ones. You can hear it's just like a perfect middle fill right before everything drops again. Like you have this. And then you get all that percussion again. So just break beats, pretty simple. Just look for ones that have a good texture to them and drop them in there. And there we are. So that's going to be it for this one, guys. That's how to make a full hard groove techno track from scratch. Enjoy. Make sure to like this video as well as subscribe. And let me know what you think of this video in the comments. Like I said, in the beginning, you can get this full project file, samples, MIDI, presets, the entire template. Fully arranged track is available at the top of the description on my website. Definitely go grab that, guys. It's a great way to take your tracks to the next level. I put a lot of time into studying these tracks. And if you grab this, I promise you'll get ahead of the curve. And it's going to help all of us make better tracks and get to where we're trying to get thank you so much for the support everybody every little bit helps if you enjoy these videos and i will see you tomorrow with another video